In this video, we are going to evaluate left and right hand limits, also known as one-sided limits. For our examples, we have the expression x plus 3 times the absolute value of x plus 2 all over x plus 2. But for the first example, we are evaluating the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right. For the second example, we are evaluating the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left. And for the third example, we are going to evaluate the limit as x approaches negative 2. Keep in mind the following. The limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of f of c plus h. And the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of f of c minus h. Notice that in both cases, h is approaching 0 from the right, and that is because h is always positive. However, when x approaches c from the right, we plug in c plus a positive h. And when x approaches c from the left, we plug in c minus a positive h. Here is another thing to keep in mind. If the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x is equal to the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x, and that equals to some number l, then the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to l. Also, if the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x does not equal the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x, then the limit as x approaches c of f of x does not exist. Let us look at our first example. We have the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of x plus 3 times the absolute value of x plus 2 all over x plus 2. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of negative 2 plus h plus 3 times the absolute value of negative 2 plus h plus 2 all over negative 2 plus h plus 2. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of 1 plus h times the absolute value of h all over h. Now, since h is positive, the absolute value of h is equal to h. So, this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of 1 plus h times h all over h. And now we get a cancellation here, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of 1 plus h, and now I can just plug in 0, so this is equal to 1 plus 0, which is equal to 1. For the next example, we are going to do the exact same thing, except x is approaching negative 2 from the left. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of negative 2 minus h plus 3 times the absolute value of negative 2 minus h plus 2 all over negative 2 minus h plus 2. 
So this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero from the right of one minus h times the absolute value of negative h all over negative h. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero from the right of one minus h times h all over negative h and we get a cancellation here, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero from the right of negative one minus h. And distributing the negative sign, we have the limit as h approaches zero from the right of negative one plus h. And now we can plug in zero for h, so we have negative one plus zero, which is equal to negative one. For the last example, we are evaluating the limit as x approaches negative 2. As stated here, if the limit as x approaches c from the right does not equal the limit as x approaches c from the left, then the limit as x approaches c does not exist. As we can see, when x approached negative 2 from the right, we got 1, and when x approaches negative 2 from the left, we have negative one. Therefore, since, since the left-hand limit does not equal the right-hand limit, then the limit as x approaches negative 2 of x plus 3 times the absolute value of x plus 2 all over x plus 2 does not exist. And that is how you evaluate left and right hand limits. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.